Welcome back. And you are here with me today. And we're back on this last day on earth, survival. And we got something pretty cool to tell you guys, pretty cool to show you guys. I've been doing a lot since last time you guys saw me. I've been playing this game a little bit. And the people I've been waiting for, they're finally here. They're finally here to rain. Rain. Here they are. The Raiders. One of the most important people in the game. Right here. The three most. Important people for me to get to the top. Why are these people so important? These people are important because... Man, they're the ones that's going to let me go to all my enemies' bases and take all their stuff, take all their loot, and then I'm going to have the most loot. But I decided, I was like, I want to try out that modded APK. So this is modded gameplay. I'll show you guys what it is, what's different about modded APK versus normal gameplay. But here we go. This this uh, is new since uh, you guys saw me. This is a turret, and you can um, so if people come to raid you, you can lay them down. And we're, we put another one here, but we're still building it, and we have another one right here. Let's get this shit out the way. Um, also added this little room for stuff and everything. But one thing we did get, and the reason we're able to build this turret right here, is because we got these right here. Not, 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 no, not those, not hatchets. This, nope, not those hatchets. Um, these right here, this is why we're able to build those. Because these mini guns, they go on, on top of the sentry gun. And that's what, like, shoots. But anyways, I know last last time we ended off in the bunker, and I was going to go to the third floor. But then I had left, and I saw that the raiders were here. Um, What I think had happened was I hadn't started building this motorcycle. Oh, yeah, that's another thing, too. I started building this motorcycle because um, I think you guys remember I got that chopper for it. So then now I could start building the chopper. So that's another thing. And I think that's why the Raiders weren't showing up because I hadn't built my chopper yet. But now, now that I have my chopper um, that I'm building, I can go to this Raider. So we're going to do a raid today and we're going to see what we can do. These, and mind you guys, these are actual people's bases. These aren't AI bases. These are actual bases people made. So we might see some crazy bases. We don't know. But let's complete that. And then these they're going to be on the map. So let's, um, we need a backpack. So let's get us a backpack. Actually, all right. So this is a modded one right now that I'm playing. So we can basically build anything. Well, even if we don't have the materials. Um, so here's our military backpack. So we're going to go ahead and craft this. Now you might ask yourself, why am I playing on a modded account? Well, honestly, it's just fun. I'm going to just be straight up with you guys. It's just fun to play on a modded account. I don't have God mode or anything, but I get to split items and uh, duplicate items. And it's pretty cool. So... But let's go see whose base we get to raid today. And I'm just telling you guys, this right here is probably one of the most fun parts of this game. Going and raiding other people's base. Evil, evil uh, 49 FR. We are raiding your base. Ugh. Okay, so now that we are in the base, I'm going to try to show you guys how to properly, how to, I said, properly raid these bases. 
First thing I always do when I rate these spaces is I try to go around and see if there's any open areas. Like right here, there's a kind of open area, not really that open. But um, we're going to keep walking around. Uh, right here, there's a chest that's open. But um, this dude does have a very weird thing. The thing about this is there is different waves of zombies that come when you um when you start to make noise so that being you um trying to break down these walls or do whatever there's different levels of noise that start happening and um that being said oh and right here i hit these these chests you can hit them two times the third time they'll break and you need them to break in order to get into them but the reason I'm not breaking it right now is because if I break it, and in order to break it, I mean, if you break it, then you can go into it. But the reason I'm not breaking them right now is because they cause a lot of noise when they break, and I want to break them all at the end. That's my goal is to break them all at the end. And um, this method that I'm using, you um, can do if you're not on a modded account too, because these chickens right here, if you have some of these chickens and stuff, they will take you to 100% health, health, um, health regardless. So you don't have to be, I'm trying to see what this guy has going. Okay, so this is an actual whole wall, it looks like. Okay, so that's a whole room right there. Let's see if it goes all the way over here. Let's try to drag the zombie over here. I'm using the zombie right now as um, a thing to see like where where the if, if there's walls in these different areas because the zombie will start walking over and i think there's a wall right there so if i wanted to break in here probably the smartest thing would be to break this wall and then go into there but the key is you don't want to make a lot of noise when you're doing this so that's one thing i want to do too <clears throat> and before i start breaking um And I'm taking a silenced, um, I think this might be a trap too, by the way, but, um, I am using a silence gun and you see this, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a trap, but I'm going to keep going through here anyways. And I do believe this dude is modding because he has enough for two layers of white walls. Yep. That's a, that is a, um, trap. And I don't think he has anything in here. Yeah, water and stuff. Um, we're going to go ahead and kill all these dudes because, yeah, they're going to get in the way a little bit, just a little bit. But um, I'm going to try to get something out this raid before the big one comes. This is actually going to be kind of a harder raid. And I forgot C4 again. Great. I always forget something. I forgot some C4. That's a big crucial part. Um, yeah, this is this is basically um, I messed up. So, and this is a hacking base. I'm pretty sure. Um, and if I really wanted to get in here, I would need C4, but I didn't bring C4. So, we're probably not going to be able to get into these walls. Cause those white walls you see you need c4 for so um and i just caused myself a lot of trouble i literally walked right into that trip mine Ugh, not the trip mine the trip wire yeah um the trip wire right there it um it causes extra noise so you want to avoid that but this raid is pretty much a fail for me because um, I messed up so much during this. But um, some, most of them aren't this hard, to be honest with you. But we're gonna, we're in here. We're gonna go ahead and lay these dudes down. Um, this gun I have is pretty good. Uh, if you get, if you guys did this, you would, I would suggest getting a silence gun if you have the capability. 
Because the point is you want to make the least amount of sound as possible. Because the more sound you make, the, the more um, the zombies are going to. So they come at waves and then the very last wave. Uh, the very last wave is the big one, and he's a he's a big one, and uh, he'll wreck you. But I'll show you guys him for a little bit. I kind of still um, go even when he's um, here. I still kind of do my thing, but um, that's only because I'm on a modded account. If I wasn't, this dude, I would have serious problems with man. Um, but you can still raid with him in here if you have a normal account. It's just really hard. And I don't suggest it. But what I usually do is I get rid of all the other zombies when the big one comes. And then I just search for stuff with the big one here. That's usually how I go about it. Um, there's different ways of going about it. But this is just what I found to be the most effective. So this is what I use to do my thing man but yeah these are actual people's bases they're not ai bases or anything like that they're actual people's bases and i think this dude uh most of his base is just um a fooling base to basically fool you into thinking that there's stuff when there's not and uh he does a good job at it i'd say i actually took all of that alcohol I don't even need alcohol at all, but that's okay. Yeah, that, that tends to happen when you're looting and stuff. But, um, we're going to make sure we didn't loot, leave behind anything like too, too important. We're going to open this thing up, see what there's inside there. Ah, some stone. It's all right. Um, but we pretty much looted this dude's whole house. It was a little bit riskier because... Of how I went about it. Um, obviously, you don't know what you're getting yourself into when you do this type of stuff. But, um, yeah, I kind of just winged it. Um, I'll show you guys. We'll do. I'll show you guys some more raids and stuff. But that raid was uh, fairly, fairly. That was a fairly hard raid, I'd say, actually, because. Um, not used to having all those walls and stuff but if you're worried about your base getting raided that's the best thing to do um, because see I can just split and add more that's part of the modded thing lets you just split and add more but um, yeah we're gonna get out of here there was really nothing else we could get there Now you guys might be wondering why I didn't pick up some of that loot. And it's simply because I already have the loot. And um, it would have just wasted space. But now I have all this alcohol for no reason. Which is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'm just going to probably trash this uh, alcohol. Because there's no point for it. And uh, yeah. But that is how the first array goes that I've done on this channel. And um, I kind of just wanted to give you guys like an idea of what to do. But one of the most important things to do for a raid is you just want to try to get the chest to the point where they are one shot before you break them. Because as soon as you break a chest, your noise level goes up a lot. And the key is to not have a loud noise level the whole time. Or else that big guy that you saw there comes, the big one. And it's really hard to like do anything. But like you can see there... I was still doing it, but I was on a modded APK. If you were gonna do this without a modded APK, I would suggest take a lot of chicken with you and take a lot of hatchets with you because the hatchets will break easy and you need the hatchets to open up the chest. So if you're gonna do this without a modded APK, you need a lot of hatches and a lot of um, turkey. Or if you're not gonna take turkey, take a lot of med kits. If you have med kits, take bandages, whatever you have at your supply that raises your health a lot, take that with you and you can do the same thing I did. And you can basically just move around the area with the big one.
because at the end of the day, the big one doesn't do, uh, it does 30 damage, but that's not a super duper lot compared to what an exploder does. The exploder one shots you, so it's not too, too bad. You can kind of move around with the big one there, but I'd suggest either taking a lot of chicken or a lot of turkey, a lot of med kits, something like that. Make sure you have some good guns too. You need, I would take silencers because the silencers don't cause as much noise. If you don't have silencers, then you can use something else. But that's pretty much all I have today. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you liked it. And uh, goodbye.